Hello, my name's Mike McFarlane, I'm one of the doctors here. I've just asked if I can examine your cranial nerves. Um, that's just basically going to involve me testing your eyesight a little bit, getting to pull some funny faces, and having a look at your throat and tongue and things like that. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Brilliant, okay. Just to start with, can I ask, have you noticed any change in your sense of smell recently? No. no? Everything's still the same, like your coffee in the morning, your toast? Yeah, that's that's fine. Sort of Brilliant, okay. Um, next, I'm just going to test your eyesight. You see the chart over my shoulder? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you to cover your left eye with your left hand for me, please. Okay. And if you can read the lowest line down that you can manage. Okay. T, B, S, K, D. That's brilliant. And switch eyes for me. And same again. T, B, S, K, D. Okay, that's brilliant. What I'd like to do now is just um, test the field to your vision, if that's okay. So what I need you to do is if you can cover your right eye with your right hand, I'm going to cover my left eye with my left hand, and I'd like you to look straight into this eye for me. I'm just going to move my fingers in from the side, okay? I'd like you to tell me when you can see them and if they're waggling as I move them, okay? Yeah, I can see them. And then moving. Yes, no. Maintain a plane equidistant between yourself and the patient. Okay, and again? Yeah, I can see them. And then moving. And then? And then Brilliant, keep that eye covered for me. And same I can again. See them. And, and then moving. And, and then stopped. And again. I can see them. And then moving. And they stopped. Brilliant. And switch eyes for me. Brilliant. And same again. I can see them. They're moving. They stopped. I can see them. And they're moving. They're not moving. And then. They're moving. Brilliant. Keep that eye covered for me. They're moving. And then. And they stopped. And then. And then. Brilliant. Okay. And what I'd like to do now is just um, test sort of the movements of your eyes, really. So if you can keep your head nice and still, and with your eyes, look at the tip of my finger. Ensure the plane of movement is not too close to the patient, or you will trigger the accommodation reflex. And just follow the tip of my finger as I move it around, keeping your head nice and still for me, okay? And keep telling me, is there any double vision at all? No. And just keep following it. Any double vision? No. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, what I'd like to see now is, I've just got a little pen torch here. I'm just going to bring it around the side of your head and just sort of shine it into your eyes. Okay, I'm just going to have a little look at your pupils. That's brilliant. Now what I'd like you to do is, you can keep your head nice and still, I'd like to look up with just your eyes at that corner of the room up there for me, okay? And in a minute, I'm going to ask you to look down at my finger, which is going to be about six or seven inches in front of your nose, okay? Okay. So look at my fingertip. Brilliant. And back to the corner. And back to my finger. That's brilliant, okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to test the sensation in your face, okay? So I've got a little bit of cotton wool here. So I'm going to touch you at various points on your face if you just fantastic. I'm um, just going to touch you on the top of your chest here, just as your reference point, okay? Can you feel that? Yep. Okay, so can you close your eyes now? I'm just going to touch you somewhere on your face, like to tell me if you can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. It is important to understand the distribution and the branches of the trigeminal nerve, V1, V2 and V3. Feel it. Can feel it. And is it the same on both sides? Yeah. And is it the same as the reference point? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, can open your eyes again now? I'm just going to put my hands on the side of your face there, okay? And I'd like you to clench your jaw for me. Brilliant. And relax. And clench your jaw again. That's fantastic. Okay. Now then, the next bit is where I get you to pull some funny faces, okay? okay. So what I'd like you to do is show me your teeth. Fantastic. And screw your eyes as tightly shut as you can. Let's stop you from opening them. That's brilliant. Open them now. And lift your eyebrows up. Fantastic. And puff your cheeks out and try and stop me from pushing them in. That's brilliant, okay? I'm going to test your hearing now, okay? So that's going to involve me using the tuning fork, okay? So I'm going to bring in a bit like that and you can hear it vibrating, okay? So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to put it in the centre of your forehead. I'd like you to tell me if it's louder on one side than the other. Identify any lateralisation of sound. 
So is that one side or the other, or about the same? About the same. About the same, okay. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to hit the tuning fork again, I'm just going to put it just behind your ear here, I'd like you to tell me when you can't hear it vibrating anymore, okay? okay? Okay. Hear it now? Yep. Brilliant. I'm just going to do the same on the other side, okay? Okay. Yep. Fantastic. Okay. Next thing we'll do is just have a little look at the back of your throat, if that's okay. So if you open your mouth nice and wide and say ah for me. Ah. Uh. That's lovely. And if you can just look over your right shoulder for me and give me a cough. <coughs> Fantastic. You can look back at me now. And no one's noticed your voice going hoarse or anything like that. No. No one's made any comments about that. No. That's brilliant. Remember, the recurrent laryngeal nerve is a branch of the vagus, and hoarseness may be relevant. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ask you to shrug your shoulders up for me. Okay. Okay, and relax. And shrug them again. That's brilliant. And I'd like to turn your face against my hand. And that's brilliant. Okay, so last thing I'd like to do is if you can just open your mouth nice and wide and stick your tongue out for me, waggle it from side to side. Brilliant. And put your tongue into your cheek, stop you from pushing it in. And on the other side, stop you from pushing it in. Okay, that's fantastic. That's all I'm going to ask you to do today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.